Hey there guys, Ericso2000 here, and today we're playing a new game made by Gary20, my friend Gary. Uh, this is a Married with Children game, and I'll be honest, I've never watched uh, Married with Children the show ever, so uh, I don't know what to expect. I'm probably going to play an hour of this. I know he, um, Gary said this is like two hours, so we'll see. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering, uh, why are you, you know, filming on the channel again? I thought you were taking a break because your, like, mental health's gone to shit. And, like, yeah, well, um, I just figured I would record this because, you know, Gary is really looking forward to it. And I figured, well, I'll just do it for him. And, uh, you know, <laughs> to, to his fans, to my fans. And, obviously, yeah, I have not been doing good lately I've been depressed having negative thoughts I've been in a really dark place lately and so that's why I haven't been really posting much of anything so I'm sorry guys that you know things have been you know dead on my channel and, and so you, you might be asking me why did you take that read description video down I took it down because uh, I've started losing subscribers and I was thinking well you know I think this is I don't want to give people the wrong idea and be like Oh, I'm gonna quit YouTube even though I said in the description I'm not quitting I'm just taking a break but I don't want to get people the wrong idea you know and they're just like unsubscribing and thinking I'm gonna quit permanently when I'm not going to um, yeah I don't know uh, if you know when I'm gonna be uploading after you know after this after I complete this game I don't know if I'll be uh, playing any other games for a while. I have no idea. I'm really not in a good place. Like I said, my mental health is in a bad place right now. Like, so I am sorry. But, you know. So I did actually turn the music off. Uh, there's an option. You press like F1. Since this is made by RPG Maker XP, the same software that I use to make games. Um, I gotta say, I'm not really happy with how any of my games with RPG Maker have turned out. I really don't like my games. They're just like cringy and kind of boring. In it, really, I um the the one game that I like completed recently is like called The Young Haunters Adventures. It's like a game based off my, a community that I'm part of. You know, it's like a real. It was like the real OGs of like my you know the community that I was part of, like the people I'm still friends with today and interact with a lot. And I'm um, also I also have been you know, working on a funny Halloween video game, which is based off a series I did on my channel in 2014. Um, and uh, the series died off in 2017. Obviously, I haven't made any other new ones after that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, how that game's even turning out. It's It seems boring to me. And so, you know, I don't know if I'll personally ever be making any more games with RPG Maker because... I just don't feel confident. I feel like I'm just not very good that I can't make good games really anyway. It's like, so it's probably best I just stay away from it. So, yeah. And, uh, still no luck finding my chain. So, we're going out without it. There's obviously going to be a lot of reading. I know this. So, sorry for my rambling, but here we go. Al Bundy is a simple working class man. Forever. Uh, regretful of the turns his life has taken since the end of his high school days. He was a star running back on the Polk High School football team. He now works as a shoe salesman at Gary's Shoes in the Mall. Al hates his job. Al lives in suburb of Chicago and is the proud owner of a 1970s Dodge automobile. After a long day at work, he comes home to his wife and kids. He is married with children. Okay. I'm home. Okay. So I don't really know what to expect in this game since obviously, like I said, I've never watched the show before, but I guess we'll just explore. Sit down. Okay, that's kind of cool. And like I said, you know, uh, like I just said, uh, you know, I am familiar with this software since I use it. And, uh, hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. It's the living room's dresser right here. Open it? Yeah. Okay. There is just the family's photo album in here. Okay. Oh, God. The memories of my nightmare of a life. Yeah, really. Can relate myself. It's the living room's dresser right here. There's just the family... Photo album in here. Okay, same thing. 
Oh. Interesting. Gary made like a washer and dryer. Also made a dog bowl. Yeah, Gary makes quite a bit in uh, paint. He uses Microsoft Paint to make this stuff. I'm like, how? You know, because I, I have to use Photoshop when I'm doing stuff. It's just the washing machine. Okay, good to know. It's just the dryer. Stupid thing never works. Oh, yeah, you know, you probably should kick it. Make it, it probably work after that. Oh, still didn't work. Well, we should kick it again. Oh. This is Buck's food bowl. I guess that's the dog. Damn dog eats better than me. Oh, well. This is Buck the dog. Oh, cool. Okay. It's just a plant. Okay. It's a wooden glass cabinet with some of Peggy's old knickknacks inside. What is this here? I go in here? Oh. This is my this is my great ancestor, Mr. Seamus McBundy, I think. He lived in a village of lower uh, I can't pronounce that in England, UK back in sixteen fifty three. Occupation blacksmith shoemaker. Okay. It sure is a nice night out. I mean, uh, sure is a night. Uh, sure is a nice night tonight. Okay. What is this? It's a sledgehammer. You never know when you might need one. Yeah, you know. Always have a spare sledgehammer. Oh, so I'm outside. Probably don't want to do that. To be fair. Um, it's a it's a 1971 Dodge. Oh yeah, that's uh, the car that was mentioned in the beginning. It's in here. This is the bathroom. I can use the toilet to save my life from getting any more crazy. Yeah. Um, well, oh, that's cool. When you walk up to the mirror, you see yourself in the reflection. Wow, man, Gary really outdid himself with this. That is, that is really cool. Huh. I wonder how he coded that, you know? Maybe, like, when you, uh, and oh look when you like when you go behind it shows the back of your head too that is cool I know that's such a little thing but that is cra and when you like turn directions to the mirror like that is cool Wow I'm fascinated because again I use this software too so I'm like well th that is something use the toilet to save the game go pee or uh, go poop or pee you know, let's take a shit you know yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I feel great. I'm almost happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Whoa, I just went down here. Wow, this looks like a workout. It's a workout training weightlifting bench. Yeah. Has 50 pounds on it. Cool. Anything in behind here or something? What is this here? Anything? No, I guess not. I guess these are just random boxes. I suppose so. There's doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay, we'll just go back up. So we went through here. We went through this door just now. We went through this door. What about this door? Oh, what is this? Just a lot of old junk in here. Turn on the lantern? Yeah, it's dark as hell. It's just a lot of old junk in here. Okay, so we kind of get the idea. It's just, you know, a lot of chunk in there. What did I just take? Yeah, um, apparently because the me is turned off, you will not, well. Actually, I thought that, uh, you know, that was a sound effect. Maybe Gary just uh, didn't, doesn't have one for this, but uh, the, the cool thing about Gary is he modifies all this stuff, you know, versus I kind of just leave it since I don't know how to mess with, like, the script. He, he knows how to mess with a lot of scripts, you know, a lot of script shit, but I don't know how to, like, really mess with much of anything myself, to be fair. Uh, oh, selling woman shoes. That is cool. Like, he actually put, like, skills of, like, what, you know, what he's capable of. An extremely gifted bowler played high school football. Scored four touchdowns in one game at Polk High School. Well, it says Polk High, but, you know. Always quick with the jokes and insults, yeah. Very good skill to have. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, sort of. Barbecuing. 
while wearing an apron that says kiss the cook, kill the wife. That's a great apron. I need to get that myself. So, yeah, okay. And what can I equip? Oh, yeah, nothing here. I wonder what we'll uh, need to be doing since Gary didn't modify any of this stuff. I don't know. Uh, shoe salesman, yeah. Al Bundy. Got no money. So let's see what's on the TV. It's a good old TV. Turn it on, yeah. Why would I turn on the TV the fool's way? I own a remote for this. Yeah, you know, we probably. Wait, didn't I pick up the remote? Yeah. Al's TV remote. Sit on the couch and face TV to use it. Okay. Use the TV remote? Remote control? Yeah. Well, okay, let's see what's on. Uh, I don't know what's on. I have the, the, uh, the me and the BGM off, so... Mm, can't do anything with these chairs. Who's this? Peggy Bundy. Hi, Al. A fat woman sl uh, sloshed into the shoe store today. Said she was re uh, retaining water. I told her not to worry. The dam of... Salute. Sorry if I can't pronounce some things right. I know this is always about reading. Should ke keep us all safe for the next few years. Oh, Al. How's your day, Peg? What are you doing? Where's, where's my? Yeah, where's my dinner? Ha ha, yeah, right. Like, I cooked any dinner for you. When have I ever? Ha ha, oh, well, you know, that is sad. Oh. Open refrigerator. Uh, take a beer? Yeah. Can I take... How many can I take? Can I just keep... I already got a beer. Okay. Well, I could always use another. How many... Can I take another? Well, I could always use another. Wait, how many can I take? I have three right now. Oh, well, now I took them all. Look at that. I don't have any more beers left. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Mmm, nothing like a nice cold beer after a long, hard day at work selling woman shoes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's the living room's dresser right here. Oh, yeah, we looked at that. Okay. Oh, Gary, like, uh, cut the bottom of the lamp off and made it look, look like a table lamp. That's cool. Because I know this is, like, a long kind of lamp. What's the phone for? I need to walk over here. It's just the phone. Oh, okay, so there's... Can I say anything else to her? I'm tired. I think we'll go sit on the couch now. Okay. Hmm. So, what can I say to her now? Not now, Al. I'm trying to relax. What, Al? You want to go upstairs for se- Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I'd rather drink bleach, yeah. You know what? I think that sounds better, you know. I'll drink some bleach instead. I think that, you know, definitely not going to burn all my organs up or, you know, it's all going to be good. Well, if you keep bugging me, maybe we should go upstairs. No, please, mercy. Okay, uh... Yeah. Oh no. Come on. No. Oh my god. Oh, ow. This game has gotten very hot. Oh, what? I I got game got a game over because I had sex. Okay. Well, you know. Let's rock. <laughs> Jesus, man. Come on. Really? That's how I get a game over in this game. It's ridiculous. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Oh well, I didn't mean to say that, but okay. Al, you never asked me that. You really want to know? No, you know, not really. You know, where's my dinner again? Okay. I can't believe I just got a game over, man. It sucks. So I didn't. Uh... Where's the bathroom up here again? In here? No. Okay, I gotta find. How to navigate around here. Uh, is it in here? Yeah. Let's pee this time. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. That's how I feel every time I, you know, take a piss. Okay. Not now, Al. I'm trying to relax. I'd rather poke my eyes out. Oh, Al. 
Whoa, yeah, whoa. So, how do we go past uh, Buck the dog? Move it, Buck. Oh, there he goes. Funny. Okay. Okay, so what's in here? Uh, what? This is Buck the dog. He is sleeping on my daughter Kelly's bed. Hi, Daddy. Buck just ran in here and jumped on my bed. Did you, did you kick him off the stairs again? Yeah. Hi, Daddy. Okay. This is my daughter's dresser. Yeah, let's search it. I better not. Oh, uh, well, you know. I have no need to look in here. He probably should, though. This is where my daughter Kelly does her makeup. And my pumpkin and my pumpkin is as beautiful as ever. Oh, I was talking about his daughter. It sure is a nice night out night tonight. I keep saying night out when it's tonight, but it's kinda interesting how he you know got the windows like positioned like that. That's kinda cool. Like, yeah. Oh, what's this? It's it's just a photo of my uncle Joe Bundy. It's a photo of the tree in our backyard. And see, when I see Gary, when I see games like this, like with Gary, like he's so much better than I am, and it kind of is like, oh, I wish I could like make better games, you know? Because I'm mean, obviously I'm okay. I'm like, I I don't know if I could really say I'm like decent, but I'm okay at it, I suppose. Like, yeah. It's the sink. You sink, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just really find it cool that he uh, added a reflection in the mirror. Like, I, I really am going to have to ask him how he did that. That is really cool. I love the mirror. It's, like, really cool. Save the game, too, by the way. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. Let's go in here. Oh. This is my son? Hey, Dad. Bud Bundy, I have a date tonight. Yeah, right. I really do this time. And I'm the Queen of England. Yeah, I don't believe him. He doesn't have a date. It's just my son's closet. Oh, God. I can see my son's rubber woman inside. Whoa, whoa. This is my son's dresser. Open it. I better not. Hmm. Very hesitant about searching through his, uh, his drawers. Okay. Oh, uh, was there another door? All right. Oh yeah, there's just a bathroom in here. It's interesting how he has it linked up. All right. Oh wow. This is my dresser. This is my dresser. This is where my wife Peggy does her makeup, and she still looks like the red-headed blob. Ugh. I have no need to look in here right now. It's just a lamp. This is mine and the wife Peggy's bed. I have no need to look in here right now. Can't believe I got a game over just for having sex in this game. Like, it literally didn't take me long to get a game over in this game. Oh, oh wow, look at that. He got a full body mirror, too. That's cool. Really outdid himself with the mirrors in this game. That is neat. That is something interesting for RPG Maker. And look, it, it knows the distance, too. When you're standing right in front of it, it's, like, super close. And when you're, like, far away... That's crazy. How the hell did he do that? Wow, that is crazy stuff, man. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep saving the game, because you never know. I might just die again. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. It's just toilet paper. Okay. I don't really know what's going to happen in this game, but, you know, we're going to find out. At least something real good happens, you know. Maybe I'll get another game over, you know, again. Oh, well, you know, I better just leave her alone, because, you know, we want that to happen. I think we uh, searched everything, so we can just go out. It's just the mailbox right here. Check the mail. I don't seem to have any mail right now. Oh, okay. Uh, there's some flowers here. 
Let's see what we're Oh, can we not leave this? I guess, yeah, there's like, we can't leave. Yeah, it's obvious. Okay. Alright, well. Um. Uh, what else am I supposed to do here? Oh, there's like a pot here. Let's see. This is the kitchen stove, but my wife never uses it. Oh. Kitchen sink. Oh yeah, I lost all my beers because I died. I gotta retake all the beers. Oh, I just noticed this. Um, I noticed how somehow Gary like made it so like there's three beers in the fridge and one vanishes every time you take a beer and so like that's why like oh when you take all three there's no more in here that's cool man I mean I really a lot of the time I don't know how he how he does this stuff it's just it's crazy to me how the hell the hell is he doing this I like that it's cool so it's very fascinating. It's just a plant, yeah. Very fascinating indeed. Okay. Okay, I don't. I better be careful. I don't. I don't know what I should do. Yeah, t why would I turn off the TV the fool's way? I own a remote for the. Yeah, well, you know. Change channels. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's uh what's playing on the TV because I have the BGM off and the me off, so I don't know what's playing. I can't hear anything. Uh, turn off TV off. Yeah. Okay. I gotta figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do now. It's a wooden. Oh yeah, we've we've saw that already. Okay, so is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, there's the backyard. It's the barbecue grill for the backyard. That's cool. I know Gary is actually working on a, uh, a game called Adventure Quest 3, which I was in Adventure Quest 2. Um, uh, apparently, there's, there's like four different stories, and I'm one of them. You know, so one of the characters you can pick. And so I've been doing like hundreds of lines for Gary for the game, so you will be hearing a lot of my voice when that game comes out. But yeah, um, I am one of the playable characters in uh, Adventure Quest 3, and I don't I don't know when Gary plans to release it, but when it comes out, I will be like one of the main one of the uh, playable characters, which is pretty cool. It's Buck's doghouse right here. My daughter Kelly wrote the name of the doghouse. Let's sleep in the doghouse. No. Oh. Can I go back here? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Didn't realize that you could go back here. Okay. Hey, what does this lead to? I can see inside the glass screen plate right here. Oh. I didn't know you could walk out there. I thought that was just all window. Hell, now I know. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's weird. You can just kind of walk right. For some reason, you can walk past this chair. You can't walk this. It's just like, you know, you can't. There's no passage for this. You can walk past this. And, uh. It's kind of weird, you know. I don't know. I guess. Kind of makes sense. It's kind of cool. You can stand behind the chair. Alright. I just need to figure out what I'm doing now. Let's see. It's a nice cold beer. I sure need one. Yeah, don't we all? We read all this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I need to figure this out. This could be bad. Probably better save the game again just in case I die, because. I'm probably about to. 
I'm a little lost at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing, but... God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. And I saved a file through an accident. So that's fine. Wait, can I get in the car by some chance? No. Yeah. Let's go to the, uh, oh, the nudie bar, yeah. Let's go to the bowling alley, though, first. Let's just, uh, go down the list, start up, go down the list. Okay, here we are. Ah, the bowling alley. The only place where I can feel like a real man. I can bowl a perfect 300 game every time. I am the king here, baby. To play, I just pick up, pick a ball and walk up to an alley, and the ball will be thrown at the pins. It's easy for me. After the pins get knocked down, the ball will automatically go back into my inventory on me to just walk back up and throw again. If I want a new color ball, I should put the new one I have back on the ball rack where I first found it at. Yeah. Once I hit a perfect 300 game, uh, the scoreboard will reset. Also, if I leave the area, the score will also reset too. Now, let's rock. So that's like some mini game going on here. Okay. Let's get the red one. Can I take multiple? Yes, I can. A red bowling ball, a green bowling ball. Okay, let's just like... Is there a limit? Can you take all of the bowling balls? I already have this color ball. Okay, so you can't take the same color ball. But I have a, a black bowling ball. We have a blue one, a green one, and a red one. We're going to use the red one. Okay. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, we got a strike. Look at that. That is a that is a neat. That that is pretty fascinating for RPG Maker. I I gotta say. Well, we're getting constant strikes, you know. Yeah, he is. You know, he's he's very good at this game. He wasn't lying. You know, pro bowler. Um, I don't know. Maybe we want to go up to 10, I guess. I don't know. Wait, how do I choose my bowling ball? Can I choose other ones? I get, like, how do I, you know, because it's just choosing the black one. So I don't get what the point is of, like, holding the other ones when you can't even, can you use them? or? No, you see, it just uses the black one. Okay. A place for lazy people to sit, you know, that's what it's there for, yep. Yeah? I'm here to bowl, not sit. Well, you know, I'd rather sit down and not bowl, honestly. It's just an arcade game here. This is the Simpsons arcade game. Wait, can we play this? Because I know in Adventure Quest 3, Gary was showing me, like, arcade games he was making. It's just, it's just an arcade game here. This is Miss Pac-Man. Oh, I suck. At Pac-Man, man, I cannot play that shit, man. I really am bad at Pac-Man. I mean, it's a classic, but I'm really bad at it. It's just an arcade game here. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Cool. And then, what's this one? It's an arcade game here. This is the Daytona USA. Cool. I don't know what that one is, to be honest. Street Fighter 2. I never played any of these games except for like the Miss Pac-Man. Um, you know, let's go in the ladies' room, and uh, you know, I wonder if something will happen if we get caught in here. Um, God, so. I feel great. I'm almost happy. Guess not. And then this is men's room. It's a urinal. It's the men's urinals. Use urinal, save game. Yeah. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. It's the sink. Cool. So, yeah, yeah, you can see yourself in all these, too. Except for uh, this one, uh, it doesn't reflect it, you know, the uh, the sides, only the uh, front and back. Still very cool, though, nonetheless. Okay, so what does it say when I'm in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I just interact with the toilet, so I know. It's got, the, the bowling thing's really cool. I like that. I don't know if there's a way to use the other colors. Gotta wear them shoes. Yeah, you know, I agree. 
Welcome to Jim's uh, bowl of rama. And, um, you know, so I am pretty tired right now. My sleeping schedule's been fucked up. I mean, I I do stay up as for as long as I want and go to bed whenever I want. So I'm like, well, I don't really have a sleeping schedule technically. But, yeah, it's just really out of place right now, though. Like, really not getting much sleep at all. So, welcome to, to Jim's bowl of rama. Yeah, well, thank you. Welcome to Jim's Bolorama. All different color texts, which is cool. I can't leave with their with their bowling ball on me. You know, we probably should just leave. You know, there there are bowling balls now. Wait, so we gotta put them back? Oh, we can't put them back. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. There we go. Now we can leave. Can I walk up here? No, we cannot. So I guess that's how you would change the color of the ball. Yeah. There you go. Okay, that's neat. And put it back. Take the green one. There we go. So that is pretty cool, I will say. Put it back. Put the green one back. Wait. Hold up. Let's I walk over here. Wait. Why is it not letting me put it back? Oh, uh, not lining up with aligning with this right for some reason. Okay, that's wait. What? Oh, that's kind of weird. So the ball kind of goes like you know, zigzags when I'm like standing here. That's cool. Can't seem to put it back though. There we go. Let's do the blue one. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go to the uh, the nudie bar. Ah, the nudie bar. The only place where a real man like myself can go and relax away from the wife, you know. Yeah, exactly what you know you'd want. Yo, know, I can't stop looking at the girls. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, man, honestly. This place is awesome. Yeah, good to know. Man, I come here every night. That's cool how Gary has made it so he turns his head. That's cool. That is neat. Okay, can't do it from behind, but... Oh, and look, he has, like, the bartenders, like, wiping. That is cool, man. You know... Again, I'm, you're going to see me get fascinated by this stuff because this is RPG Maker stuff. I use the same software, like I keep saying. And, you know, I, I can't do stuff like this. Can I help you? Please go to the front of the bar and someone will help you. You know, I'd rather just talk to you from the side. It's fine, you know. Okay. I like how he turned his head at me. That's cool, though. What the hell? Like, you know, usually they're, you know, the whole sprite just turns to, like, the left or the right when you're talking to somebody, but his head just turns to the left. That's just, man, that's cool. Wow, that's crazy. Can I help you? I'll take a shot. A shot will be $6. Okay, here. How much money do I even have? Okay, here you go. Uh, do I have it on me? A shot of rum from the nudie bar, okay. Nothing like a nice shot of rum after a long, hard day at work selling woman shoes. Uh, can I help you? Let's get a... Wait, is it the same beer? You already have a beer, sir. Yeah, well, you know, I'm glad you can see inside my inventory. Whatever that might be. How did he know? You know, I, I can't believe you knew that, you know, that I have beers on me. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, dance for me, baby. Hey, owl buddy, isn't this place great? Jefferson. Huh. Girls, girls, girls. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah. Hmm. Oh, am I just watching? <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about getting uh, age restricted on YouTube. That would be kind of unfortunate. Okay, um, what? 
can I <coughs> so I can't really like do anything with these chairs uh, oh can I wash her what is this oh I guess that's uh okay there's a door over there I'm gonna see what that is I go back here as well I just come back out or I'll wait and see. Oh, new girls come out. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here. Oh, the bathroom. Yeah, let's save it again. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. It's the men's urinals, yeah. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. Yeah, you know, I can, I can really relate to that. Okay, so was that it? I guess nowhere? Yeah, let's go nowhere, you know? Sure. Um, so did I miss anything of these places? Just to be sure. I'm going to go back to the bowling alley and make sure I didn't miss anything now let's rock okay so uh... gotta wear them shoes yeah good advice huh well uh... that's an interesting thing you know the, the whole bowling system is like interesting that he's coded in you know this is big for something like RPG Maker. Um, let's go back to the nudie bar because I want to see if I missed anything there. I don't know. Because, you know, obviously there's no way the game's over. We're only 37 minutes in. And... Yeah, there's no way. And all this stuff that I've already done alone, this is a lot of work. You know, just all this itself, you know. Stuff is it takes a lot of effort. You, t you can't talk to like any of these like bartenders. You only talk to this one right here. Nothing. Okay, tell me when you're ready to order. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, so those are just two doors I can leave. Okay, and choose no to not. Yeah. Yeah, let's go nowhere. So maybe when I leave places, that things are supposed to change in my house or something, or what? All right, sorry about that, guys. We're back. Um, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do now, to be honest. I went to uh the bowling alley, the nudie bar, and so I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe I just go to sleep and wake up the next day or something. Why is there two beds in here? Um, let's see, where was my room again? Is it in? Wait, is this my son's room? I think it was my son's room. Yeah. Well, I guess there's nothing to do here, and then there's just the, uh, take a shower, oh, okay, and break my three-month record? Oh, yeah, you know, definitely don't want to do that. You know? Yeah, you know. I have no need to look in here right now. Um, what am I supposed to do now? I mean, what? I don't really know. Let's see what. Okay, you know, I'm gonna talk to my wife again. Let's see if. And you know, I I'm sure we're not gonna get another game over from doing this, by the way. Probably not. But you know. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. 
really no oh well oh god no yeah I feel his pain all the way oh that's rough looked at that um yeah what is what am I supposed to do now entirely like I'm kind of just lost here I think I tried to walk down this road and I couldn't I I don't know what I'm missing to be honest I might leave and come back maybe I'll like pause and resume till I find it because I don't want to be running around too long just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do because this is it's just gonna make a okay let me try the sledgehammer again maybe it's just tell me it's good to have one yeah definitely gotta have one in your garage you know okay what about the food bowl did I okay it's just nothing it's just this food bowl okay what am I supposed to do Can't talk to my wife because if she, uh, you know, she has sex with me, I get a game over. I don't know. Um, so what? Yeah, he's on the bed sleeping. Okay. So what is there to do now? Is kind of the question. I don't know. I should go to bed soon. I got to get up early and go to work tomorrow, selling more woman shoes. Oh, here we go. God, I hate my life. Yeah, very relatable. Very, very relatable indeed. I too hate my life. This is my side of the bed. Go to sleep. Oh god. What? Morning, Al. Make me some breakfast. Yeah, right. Oh. No breakfast today. Yeah, we can't, you know, we're never going to shower because we can't break the record. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go to my kid's room and see what's up. Morning, Dad. I had a date last night, but she canceled on me. Well, sure, son. Yeah, that is very, very unfortunate. Uh, what was this? Oh, here we go. Morning, Daddy. So where did Buck the dog go now? Oh, he's on the steps again. Yeah, you know, silence. He's moving again. Oh, that's kind of cool, Gary. Like, you know, colored the dog black a little bit. Like the basic RPG, like, you know, dog. It's like, there's a default dog. It's like the, kind of like a golden retriever. And this is Buck the dog lazy ass dog yeah, yeah he's just sleeping okay it's just the phone uh... Buck's damn dog eats better than me yeah you know okay so uh... wait i need to go in the garage get in the car uh... drive to work at the shoe store let's go it's a good thing I figured I figured I'd have to go to bed in the game because I was like, okay, what do I do now? You know. Okay, here we are. Well, I better go behind the counter to start my day. Some Gary shoe store shirts. Some Gary shoe store shirts. And it's just a lamp. What is this? This is where I can sit to help me fit small shoes onto very large women. I hate my life. Just some old worn out woman shoes here. What kind of place he work at? This is where. Oh, okay. Try not to read the same thing again so it doesn't get repetitive and annoying. It's the Golden Shoe Award and other trophies that Gary's Shoe Store has won over the years. Okay. And see what's in here. Oh, it's the bathroom. See in my game, I have a different system coded for the uh, the sink. You know, you like uh, say you use the bathroom, you like go up. You know, you'll get like uh, soap, like you know, like 
you'll get soap, then wash your hands, uh, and then dry your hands, which is kind of cool. That's the way I coded it, and I added in like a for for my game, like the Final Halloween video game. Uh, I put a soft soap bottle instead of like the you know the default bottle that's on like a title set that I use. God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. Yeah, you know, he uh, tells us that every time. Whoa. Boxes of woman shoes that were delivered. Okay. Size 4 to 4.5. Take shoes, no, take none. Yes, 4.0. Yes, size 4.5. Okay, why? Yeah, right. W women are never that small. Yeah, you know, probably not. Size is 6 to 6.5. Take shoes, no take none, 6.0, 6.5. Man, I don't know. I don't need that shoe size, right? Okay, I guess we shouldn't be doing this because it's kind of like, well, we'll, um, I guess we're going to be like working in the game or something. Now to wait for a fat woman to uh, slosh her way into the shoe store and I can begin my day. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I need shoes. I need to measure your feet. Let me get that measuring device on the floor. No need. I am size 4.0. Yeah, right. Okay. Well. Um, take none. Okay, we're... Well, you know, she did just say that she was a 4.0, but I guess if you want to... It's a foot measuring device to measure shoes size. Yeah, pick it up. Okay, it says here that you are a size 10.5. What? That's a lie. Facts don't lie, miss. I'm a size 4.0. Let me get those shoes now. Jeez. Okay, well, I guess we did need it. This guy knows his job. Size 12. Oh, no. Size 11. Did he say 10? Or is it 10.5? Okay, we got the right one. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, so we got the right shoes. I gotta go behind the register again. Yeah, now uh, you know we're just gonna wait for another fat woman. There we go. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I need shoes. I need to measure your feet. No need. I am size four point zero. Yeah, right. That's what they all say. Yeah. Don't ever believe it. Okay, it says here that you are a size 11.5. It's a lie. Fat, I mean, facts don't lie, miss. I'm a size 4.0. Let me get those shoes now. Okay, um... Yeah, there we go. But she said you needed a... That's at 11.0, not 11.5. Here you go. Alright. Thanks. Yeah, alright. Yeah. It's the job. Wait for fat women all day and measure their feet. You need to measure your feet. No need. I'm a size 4.0. That's what they all say. Okay, it says that you are a size 10.0. You're my smallest one for the day. That's a lie. Facts don't lie, miss. I'm a size... Okay. Get it. Alright. Yeah. 
interesting uh, thing here. What a great job to have, really. I too want this job. We're gonna sign up. It's going to be a long day, yeah. Sure seems like it. So now what? Well, I am done for the day. Time to head home. Oh god. What? Oh god, what? He's just saying oh god because he has to head home now? I'm home. Oh, what now? Hi, Al. Guess what happened in the shoe store today? Did a fat woman come in? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. How did you know? Enormous. Wow, that was a spine tingler. Much better than yesterday's. A fat woman sloshed into the store. Okay. Hi, Al. Just looking out the kitchen window, spying on the neighbors. They have been fighting all day. Yeah, you know, I'll see why you'd be spying on them. Damn dog. Move it, Buck. Hey, he's always in my way. Okay. Oh, he's on the bed. This is the Buck. This is Buck the dog. Yeah. Hi, Daddy. Yeah. You do this every night, Daddy. Yeah, you know. Just a common thing. Hey, Dad. Is that it? Uh, is I supposed to go to sleep now, or what? Probably, I guess, probably what I was supposed to do, or... So... the dryer some more. Am I supposed to go to bed now? I, I, pro I mean, it's gotta still be too early if, like, she's watching the neighbors. What? What is going on here? Aliens? Oh, God. Well, you know. And now we're gonna get abducted by aliens. Hello, Earthlings. We need a dozen of your dirtiest, smelliest, disgusting, what you call socks. Oh, yeah, you know. We gotta hook them up, really. I must be going crazy. Yeah, you know. What kind of drugs is he on? Bring us a dozen. Okay. We still don't have enough. Well, what, what, I gotta go around the house and collect socks? Why are there socks just all scattered throughout the house now? Alright, you know. Oh, that's, uh, that's my room. This was in there, I'm losing my mind. Kelly, there are aliens in my room. Sure, Dad. Sure, Daddy, sure. Yeah. They're definitely not aliens in my room, you know, wanting socks. I probably should like, try to talk to my son. Why can't I pick this up? Oh, okay. Peg, there are aliens in our room. Um, sure, honey. What do they want? They want my dirty socks. Sure they do, honey. Did you hit your head or something today? Yeah, you know. I don't know. Something up. Well, after work, I did go to the mall's fountain to try to steal some quarters, but slipped and fell and hit my head pretty hard on the side of it. Yeah, they, that's probably why he's seeing the aliens and they want his socks now, you know. Just, you know, hit his head on the... Hit his head pretty hard on the side of the fountain. Well, there you have it. Yeah, that explains it. 
pretty much sums it up. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk to myself. I was gonna go in this room. Bud, there are aliens in my room. Sure, Dad. Now yeah, nobody believes that. <laughs> Do I have enough now or no? You still don't have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna keep searching the house. Alright, um So maybe I should try to go outside or something. Uh, are, there, are there any out here? Maybe there's some in the garage, actually. Are there? Can we go anywhere else? No. Oh, there's some in here. How many do we have? My old dirty socks. So we need, like, what, twelve? A, a dozen. We need twelve. We have nine, okay? Didn't think to look at the uh, quantity, but we need two more. Alright. Wait, so where am I supposed to look now? Or what in the, in the, uh, the draw? Uh... No. Well, you know what? Actually, let's just give it another kick. Should seem to be able to see now. So, where am I supposed to go now? Have I... Um, yeah, okay, so this is the last room in the house. And I definitely don't trust these aliens. I think he's hallucinating these aliens. Something real suspicious about this. Thank you, Earthling. Guys, I don't get it. Why my socks? Fuel. Hey, guys, can I get some pictures of you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, let me go get my camera. It's in my dresser right over there. Okay. I have a camera inside here with my underwear. Okay. Okay, I have my camera now. Say millions. What a great photo. Oh wow, look at that. That's actually really cool what Gary did. That is... Oh my god, I don't know how he did that. That is cool. He probably did like the show picture, but it, like the, the photos like stacked onto each other. What the hell? I'm going to take this camera in tomorrow on my way to work and have this film developed. Yeah, you know. Sure, you'll make uh, big bucks for that. I will have proof of aliens and be rich, and my family won't think that I am a cr that I am crazy either. Hee <laughs> hee. Goodbye, Earthling. Goodbye, aliens. Hmm. Can I go to sleep now, or what? Yeah. Oh, I didn't read that. Can I? Yeah, I, I didn't think there was anything, but. Okay, I did miss that though, unfortunately. Peg, I got pictures of aliens. Oh, um, sure, honey. I'm just going to lay around all day. Yeah, sounds good, you know. Definitely. Sounds uh, very productive. But I got pictures of aliens. Sure, Dad. Okay, why am I not showing them these pictures? They're just not going to believe me. I mean, I'm not showing them anything. Kelly, I got pictures of aliens. Sure, Daddy, sure. Yeah, nobody believes me, of course. Alright, so now what am I supposed to do? Go to work again or something? Oh, the dog's here again. Alright. Uh, we're supposed to be... Is this the garage? Oh, not all. I thought that was the garage. Wait, wait. You know what I should just do to be simple is just walk out and go inside here. Uh, drive to New Market Mall. Okay, sure. Let's go. I don't know uh, how long or how much longer I will record for. 
Oh, this is my job. But, uh, yeah. Because I'm just tired and, again, bad mental state, so. It's just best if I don't spend a lot of time really recording shit. Because, yeah. It's just things aren't good, but I just wanted to, you know, film this because, you know, I wanted to make, you know, Gary happy and I wanted to just, you know, make. Of course, you know, showcase the game too, you know, for you guys, but also for Gary fans as well, you know, you definitely should play this game, you know, definitely worth checking out, and you know, uh, this game, and uh, Gary, definitely check out uh, Gary's other games too. Boy, I just dropped off my camera to have my film developed, I will pick up my photos after work, okay, yeah, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, then you'll be pretty rich by then, you know, they'll think, oh, they'll just look at those photos and be like, yeah, that's alien proof. You know? So do I just gotta go behind the counter and just do do this again? Oh great! Now yeah, what a fun day! Now we can wait for fat women again and weigh their feet. I mean, uh, weigh their feet. Yeah, uh, measure their feet. Okay. All right. I need to measure your feet. Yep. Yeah. Right. Size 9.0. That's a lie. Okay. There we go. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, let's go find it again. Hmm. A nun, that's a new one, yeah. And nuns shouldn't lie either. Yeah, I agree. You're a horrible man. 8.5. And like I said before, none shouldn't lie. God is going to smite you for taking talking to a nun like this. Oh, you better watch out. Well, I'm already in hell, so he can't do much worse. Yeah, very relatable, honestly. Jesus Christ, this guy's so relatable, man. Wait, what did he say? 8.5, she say? Oops, that was the wrong one. Okay, we got it. Here you go. May God have mercy on your soul. He hasn't. Jeez, this guy. <laughs> I relate to him so much. This is so funny. Okay, so do I just go home now? Well, I am done for the day. Time to get my film and go home. I have proof of aliens. I'm going to be rich. Yeah, let's hope so. Wait. Oh, this is where I get the film. Just film and uh, just film and film printing paper on the shelf here. Okay. It's just a plant. It's a printer to print out digital photos. This must be an old show if, like, you know, you print out your photos. Because obviously that's not how today works. This is uh, this is where you put your money for the printer for all your digital copy. Dig uh, for all your digital photos costs 25 cents per photo. Hmm, it's kind of shitty. Just the store hours and prices on the wall here. Of course, that's obviously how it used to work, though. It's just a clock on the wall. It's time to get my photos. It's just a lamp. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Yeah. May I help you? Give me give me my pictures. I got planes to catch, cars to buy, and families to leave. Name? Bundy, but it'll change. It'll soon change. Give me my pictures. Bundy Bundy. Is that Al Bundy three exposures? Sixteen. I, I, ISO, sorry, 
Yes, yes. Uh oh. What? You know, this has only happened one other time since we've been at this location. What happened? Well, do you know anything about film developing? No. Well, neither do we. Well, you know, but we learn as we go. Today we learned that when the machine jams, you don't use a flashlight around negatives. Well, you know, he's fucked my photos up. That's great, you know. Now I'm not going to be fat. Now I'm not going to be rich. I'm not going to get any of those things that you know, you said. Were those photo pictures anything important? Oh, no, you know, they weren't important or anything. Don't worry about it. Definitely weren't going to make me rich or anything. Okay, what just happened? So I think we're, uh, uh, did he just pass out? Or is he just, oh, he went back to his house? Okay. Well, that's it. I'm going to jail. Why? <laughs> Wait, what? What did you do now, Al? I beat up the... Well, what? Oh, okay. Photorama clerk. Well, okay, I didn't know what he was doing. I didn't know what was actually happening, but now we know. Congratulations, it's not every day a, a Bundy gets arrested for assaulting a ph Photorama clerk. Yeah, you know, it's something new each day. Well, he did mess up my photos of my aliens. Yeah, you know, it's reasonable. Of course you were in the right. I mean, he did destroy your photos of those little green guys. Yeah, he did. That's right, play with the piranha. Honey, I'm going, I'm go I'm going to go see your lawyer. <laughs> he may not realize that a previous judge already declared you legally stupid. Yeah. I'm glad he declared me that, you know. Definitely not gonna, you know. Hope he helped me win. It may help your defense. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah. That's the doorbell, Al. It's probably the police. Oh god. Wait, is this the phone? Is it? Oh. Officer Dan. Hello, Al. You know why I'm here. Yeah, beat up a photorama clerk. Else. Yep. What's for dinner tonight in the Slammer, Officer Dan? Same thing every night. Weenie tots. Yeah, sounds good. Book me. Oh, jeez. Um. It's locked. Yeah, no shit. This is going to be one nice long vacation. No wife, no kids. It's going to be spectacular. Yeah, you know. Well, I got some bad news for you, Al. Looks like that guy you beat up, you beat, will not be pressing charges against you. <laughs> well, that's very unfortunate. Say what? As soon as he found out that you were a shoe, sale, a shoe salesman, he felt sorry for you. Well, you know, he definitely... If he has every right to feel sorry for me, you know, I too would feel sorry for someone like that, you know. You will be let out first thing in the morning. I'm cursed. Yeah, I think you are. I'm home. Yeah, that's unfortunate that you are. Hey, Al, guess what I brought? Guess what I bought? Oh, a new husband? No, Al, a computer. Oh, great. So how much did that cost me? Well, good news is this computer was on sale. I saved you 200 on it. How much, Peg? Well, it only cost you 2300 <laughs> Oh, well, you know, that's that's nothing. That's it's pretty cheap. It's really cheap. I mean, come on. That's right. Only 2300 on a 2500 computer. Oh, kill me now. Yeah, you know. Can't blame you for saying that. Oh, Al. I mean it, Pat. You better use that computer. <laughs> I just love this case of negative like I am. Three weeks later. 
Meg, it's been three weeks now and you haven't touched that computer. It's been money wasted. Well, I will later, Al. Yeah, you know, I'm sure eventually she'll touch the computer, you know, maybe not if, if you, I can't just loosen it with this kid. Maybe, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe in a couple of months, maybe, you know, sure, maybe several years down the road, she'll eventually touch it. Why don't you turn the computer on and play with it for a while? Yeah, it sounds good. It's been a long time since you turn anything on. Shut up, Peg. Damn. I think I'll go upstairs for a while. <laughs> I am getting tempted to watch this show. Like I've, you know, I've never watched it before. But I'm uh, like Gary got me into Breaking Bad because of his game, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll be getting into uh, Married with Children too. Seems like a very comical show. Enjoy it a lot. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so. Hi, Daddy. You do this every day, Daddy. Yeah. No, this time your mom did this. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, you know, some change up for the day. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey, son, do you want to play with that computer? Why would I want to play with the computer when I have a blank screen like Kelly in this house? Okay, what the hell? Wait, what? So I want to... Hey, son, play with the computer? No, oh, thanks. Okay. So that's exactly what I'd say, too. Go play with the computer, Al. Wait, where is the computer, anyway? Um, wait, where is it? Is it in, like, the, the living room somewhere? Something? Oh, there it is, yeah. Turn the computer on. What the hell do you want? What? Okay, this is the time where I shouldn't have the BGM and the me off. What? What is going on? I can't hear anything. It's just kind of... I don't know what's going on. I cannot hear this. No. Alright, so maybe that counts as playing with it? Or do I have to go mess with it some more? Or what? We good? I can't. I don't know what's what's happening because I cannot hear it. I guess that's that. I think I have a special gift for this computer. It's in the garbage. I better go get it. Yeah, you know. I guess the uh, computer is a piece of shit. So it's probably what the case is. Wait, where is the garbage? So, he said, I guess that's what it's been doing. It's uh, been making, like, st you know, no I guess, like, I don't know, I guess the computer won't work. It's, like, making, like, malfunctioning noises or, like, whatever kind of fucking noises that ain't working or whatever. I uh, have the BGM and the me turned off because uh, I just don't want to. Because, uh, you know, YouTube is pretty strict with copyright nowadays, and uh, I don't want this video to get, like, blocked worldwide. Because uh, that's likely what would be to happen if I was to record for this length of time and have, like, just, you know, copyrighted music playing over, like, for this long. Okay, so wait, where's the garbage? Hmm. Where is the garbage? It's okay. Can I kind of talk to my fucking kid about this? I don't know where the garbage can is. Um, I guess it's probably not in here somewhere. Wait, can I? Maybe I should talk to my wife and see if anything's up. My computer's a piece of shit, and I gotta throw it away. 
$2,300 computer, or, you know, in the garbage. I really would hate if I spent that kind of money on a, on a computer, and that's what I ended up having to do. She was scammed. Is this, where is the garbage can? I'm trying to find it. I don't know. I'm probably kind of stupid right now, because I probably should... Um... Where's the garbage can? Or maybe I need the sledgehammer, right? Maybe I can... Yeah, let's break the computer with it. I, you know, I... Definitely should do it. So, yeah, let's do it. can't hear it. Well now, wow, that is cool. That is cool, man. There, there's like smoke emulating from it. That is really cool, man. I don't know how Gary did that. That looks cool as hell. He literally did this himself. Like, you know, he made this on paint. That's just like, how in the hell did he do it? I'm the king, baby. Yeah, I'll keep make sure I remember that. Oh, well, you know. Hey, Al, I'm going to head, o head on over to the mall and charge more stuff to your credit card. Oh, yeah, you know, no big deal. You know, just go ahead and buy more piece of shit computers. I'll be good, you know. Just like I did with that computer. Yeah, okay, you know. Go and spend uh, $10,000. By the way, what did you do to that computer? Played a little too rough with it, I see. Wish you would play that rough with me in bed. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Peg. Yeah. You know. Jesus, this is fucking funny, man. Anyway, I'm heading next door to uh, Marcy's place. We're going to the mall together in her car. Okay. Wow, this game's. This is fucking really funny, man. I'm enjoying this. This computer is dead now. Well, rest in peace, computer. Now we gotta bury it in the backyard. Man, a lot of memories in this garage. I remember this garage didn't even have a bathroom in it. And I made my own private bathroom. That's right. Uh, that's right. Oh, sorry. That's right here next to me. Right here. Great time building it. Also, this garage is where I have all my no mama uh, meetings with the guys every now and then. Hey, I should call up Jefferson and Officer Dan and set up another no ma'am. Oh, ma'am, sorry. Yeah, no ma'am meeting for tonight. Uh, tonight will be about our woman and charging for stuff. Okay, so I'm probably going to record for a couple more minutes and call it a video, and then we'll film a part two. Drive to work at the shoe store? Let's go. I don't have to go into work today. It's my day off. Okay. So, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, it's, yeah, it's my day off. At. Okay, so... Oh, look, the smoke is not as strong now. It's died down. That's, that's cool. Like, what the hell? I walked away and I come back and the smoke died down. That's cool, man. He's crazy for that. Hi, Daddy. my kind of game. It's very funny. Um, I need to call Jefferson and Officer Dan and set up a no man meeting for tonight. The phone is downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize I have to do that. So glad the uh, game reminded me. 
running around for a long time otherwise. Fucking around, I guess. It's just the phone. Use phone? Yeah. Who should I call? Jefferson and or Officer Dan? No one yet. I guess we should call both of them. It's ringing. I hope he answers. Hello? Hello, Jefferson. It's me, Al. I want to have a no ma'am meeting tonight about our women and charging our credit cards all the time. Yeah, you know. Has a has a, a young Eric in the family. Charging up credit cards. Okay, Al, sounds good. See you tonight. It's just the phone. Okay, so now we gotta call Officer Dan. It's ringing. Hello? Hello, Officer Dan. It's me, Al. I want to have a no man meeting tonight about our women and charging our credit cards all the time. Okay, Al, sounds good. See you tonight. Alright. So, what now? No. So, what am I supposed to do now? It's just like, wait? Go to sleep, or, or what? I should go into the garage. I have a no-man meeting I have to go get ready for. Both Jefferson and Officer Dan are already on their way over for it. Alright. I'm glad I uh, won't have to worry about any copyright for this video. So... Cause, you know, no uh, BGM plan, which is good. Well, I better set up our no man meeting before Jefferson and Officer Dan get here. There, the no man meeting is set up. Now to wait for Jefferson and Officer Dan to get here. Well, oh, there they are, you know. <laughs> hey, Al, you better put on your no man shirt so we can start this meeting. Sure thing, Jefferson. It's upstairs in my bedroom. Well, you better, you know, better go get it. What the? Who's this? Get lost, Al. When the chicken leaves the nest. Go away, Al. My friend Marcy is here. He's always, I guess, is like he always on the way in the show? I have to assume, because like Gary's always making him like on the stairs. Oh, where did it? In my bedroom, it's over here. Alright, is it in here? Just my underwear in here now. I also have a no ma'am shirt in here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Very fashionable. You did a good job designing that shirt too. Like this is literally, like I know it's really hard to make certain things with like RPG sprites, especially like with uh I guess with this software I don't know how it is with other softwares, but I know with XP it can be hard to like get certain things on shirts and on sprites just entirely. Okay, so well yeah, now the uh, I noticed the uh, computer is not smoking anymore. Yeah, I'm going to be the uh, first person playing Gary's game, because I don't think anyone else has played it yet. Um, at least not that I know of, you know, because I'll be the first one like, to record it. I pretty much like have filmed all of uh, other Gary's other games. Actually, I think I need to play Adventure Quest and Adventure Quest 2 on my channel. Um, I did play the first Adventure Quest in like 2017, but obviously I don't have that video anymore. So I'm gonna have to like replay the first adventure quest, replay the second one. The second one has me in it, like I said earlier, and uh, the stuff gets pretty funny in that. Let's get this meeting started, though. Not just yet. Okay, let's start the meeting. Okay, we are here today to talk about our wives and the overcharging of our credit cards. Here, here. Our wives must be stopped. Yeah, you know, we should probably kill them. Here, here. And what are we going to do about this? Cancel our credit cards. Yeah, I think, you know, sounds like a good idea. No, we can't. Then we won't have anything for backup to pay our bills or for emergency. How about we put a limit on our cards? Good idea, but knowing our wives, they would use up that limit in no time, and then we won't have our cards for backup bills or for emergency. How about we just hide our credit cards? 
That may just work. Good thinking, Officer Dan. This meeting is ad adjourned. Sorry if I can't if I'm not pronouncing that right. Go home and hide your credit cards, men. Let's stop our wives charging. Here, here. Hopefully that will put a stop to it. No ma'am, National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. Okay. Take sign down. Uh, was I... Okay, can I take the shirt off? I'm probably gonna... Just about... I keep my credit card upstairs in my bedroom. I better go get it and hide it. Yeah, you better go get it before I get it. You know, you definitely gotta hide it for me. Or I, uh... Start sending gummy bears out to people. You know, I don't want that to happen. Okay. Okay. Take off my no man shirt. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go to sleep? Okay. Wait, I need to go find and hide my credit card first. Wait, where did he say it was again? I don't remember. Maybe I just walk in and walk out. Where is this credit card though? I don't remember. Wait, what is this again? Search for my credit card? Yeah. Searching. Oh, I found it. Oh, good. I better get ready for bed. I have work tomorrow. Yeah. Jeez, I'm going to hide your credit card from your own wife. What a life you live in. Alright, guys, I think, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And we're going to call it a video here. Um, but we got a good portion of the game in, probably. Um... God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. All right, guys. Well, this is going to do it for uh, the first Let's Play of Gary's Married with Children game. And, uh, you know, be sure you check his, uh, this game out, including uh, Gary's other games as well, because uh, he makes great games. It's a lot better uh, the software than I am. Um, so, yeah, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, more good content. See you guys in the next video. And goodbye.